Hey there. Hey, come take a tour of me in Fenwick Island, and I'm going to head a little bit west down 54 uh, as well. But uh, if you're new here, hi, I'm Rich. I'm uh, your Maryland, Delaware realtor. And uh, yeah, I'm going to take you along and just show you a little bit of uh, the ocean side, bay side, some of the different neighborhoods, and of course, some of the, the restaurants, and point out some of my favorites. And we'll move west a little bit just to check that, that out. Um, but if you need to get a hold of me for any reason, my contact information is going to be down below in the description. Don't hesitate to, to reach out. So without further ado, let's go check it out. So we're rolling in from North Ocean City into Delaware. You can see the sign up there. So this is the imaginary line. Um, Stoplight there, that's Route 54. But this is where most of your action is, is in Fenwick. Um, you got the Candy Kitchen, Core Brothers, a bunch of restaurants over to the left. But we're gonna cruise through uh, on the ocean side there just to show you a little bit of the homes and neighborhood and see what that looks like. I'm actually gonna turn right down here on the uh, West Virginia Ave and this is what they call Ocean Block so what you'll see here Delaware has a lot more single-family homes and some town homes as well but very little condos that you'll see but price points back in here you know you can range anywhere from you know 800,000 uh, on up until you know the six million plus range just depending on the type of uh, you know, home it is and if it's direct ocean front. So we're cruising down Bunting Avenue, which pretty much runs all the way up north to the end of uh, the town limits, you'll see. But right here at the stop sign, this you'll see some uh, public access to the beaches, which is nice. It is a lifeguarded beach. Uh, big thing here in Fenwick is parking, and you do need to get a parking pass, which you can get that at the local uh, police station or they have it uh, online. Uh, there's a great um, brochure that they have on there that explains all about the parking and what it means. So if you're a resident, you know, they'll, they'll have parking passes. Of course, you get a non-resident parking pass too. Let's say if you're just doing like a vacation rental. All right, so we're getting back up on the coastal highway, you know, headed back north. Um, still in town limits here. 
But you'll see, we'll be coming up here pretty soon. Actually, on the left, there's my office, uh, executive home there, and one of my favorite restaurants, Our Harvest, which I'll, uh, we'll take a peek at that when we come back down. But there's our, you know, there are a few uh, motels, hotels that you can stay in in town uh, that you see. There's actually one here coming up to the right, uh, right there. Then the one after it is uh, actually uh, owned by the Hilton. It's called Fenwick Shores, I believe. Um, and they are for purchase, too. Um, I checked on their website. They're selling for anywhere right around that million-dollar mark. And I'm sure you can probably put it in their rental program. All right, so we're almost out of town limits. Uh, you see the information center right off to the right. Um, and this kind of marks where the uh, Fenwick State Park is too. Uh, you can kind of see over the, the vegetation a little bit, uh, the park. And they have a great website that you can check out. But I know it's, it's $5 for uh, in-state residents and $10 uh, for out-of-state residents that you can go in there and park. And there's a bunch of things that you can do. Like fishing, uh, of course you can go surf fishing, actually go off road on there, which does require a permit. And you can get a, um, you know, a non-resident permit if you're just doing it for the day or while you're in town for the week. So in this area in, uh, you know, I call it North Fenwick, you know, it's a lot of private communities, gated. And uh, you'll see off to your right and left, it's a mix between, you know, townhomes and single family uh, homes too. But uh, there's a neighborhood coming up here called The Curves, actually right here. Um, if you see that big blue house off to your right, which is direct oceanfront, that's currently listed, uh, I believe, for $6 million. Uh, huge house beautiful too uh, a lot of details in that one that I noticed and there's another one in there that's pending was listed for three and a half million um, hasn't went to settlement yet but we'll see what that sells for probably worth you know somewhere like 2.8 million All right, so I'm going to turn around here. That's pretty much the end of Fenwick. Uh, just up the ways a little bit there, you'll see uh, it's South Bethany. But we'll turn around, and you'll notice on the bay side here, there's a couple different, um, you know, little little parks that you can pull in. There's like a kayak or paddleboard in there. So when we head south, I'm, I'm going to be going back into town. I'm going to point out, you know, a couple restaurants that I like. And we're going to, you know, slide into like one of the Bayside kind of streets so you can kind of see those houses that set up over there. There's a few townhome communities real nice. There's one there. There's one under contract in that one that we just passed for uh, $650. And there's another one up here, just a little bit, called uh, King's Grant, which is a popular one. And there's one listed in there, which I believe is in the $800,000 range. we're back in town you know um, when you're just looking around if you've ever been here before you kind of notice that there's not many chain restaurants most of these are locally owned um, there is a rural farms that you'll see that will pass and there is a Dunkin Donuts uh, up here by Route 54 in the um, 
uh, where, where the, the mini golf course is in the water park. But I believe that's the only one that I can think of. Um, but Fenwick has some great restaurants. So I'm turning down on the, the bay side here. And yeah, this one is uh, kind of like the ocean block a little bit, but uh, you know, you can get a little bit more uh, of a neighborhood feel, I think back in on the bay side, there's a little bit more streets to kind of go, uh, go up and down, you know, mostly single family homes like you see here. You know, you'll see some like, older homes, maybe built back into, you know, like the seventies, maybe sixties. Uh, but a lot of folks have, you know, they'll tear those down and build new. Uh, but not always, but you'll see some some building going on, new construction. And just about all these that you're noticing are, uh, you know, on the canal. And when we hit the bottom of this street here, we'll, we'll see some direct uh, bayfront homes. And majority price range, I mean, you're starting somewhere around that million dollar mark on the bay side. Just depending on the condition of the property, what it is. Uh, of course, direct bay front, you know, you can get all the way up into, you know, the three, three, three million plus, you know, mark. All right, so we're going to roll back up here on the on the highway. Still heading south. There's a great restaurant off to the left there that you saw, Mancini's. Highly recommend that. We're coming up here to the villages of Fenwick. Big red kind of shopping center there. I'm sure you've noticed that if you've ever been in town. A couple good restaurants in there, too. But as soon as we come up to this uh, the stoplight, you know, where the mini golf is, the water park... There's go-karts in there too, um, actually, which is a really fun spot. Uh, we'll be turning down there. That's Route 54 heading west. A lot of, a lot of uh, people call that West Fenwick. Uh, some great restaurants down in there and different communities uh, that I'll point out. Of course, you got the famous uh, Fisher's Popcorn off to the left. Um, there is Grab and Go Taco, which is a popular spot. I'm sure if you've ever been there. Cruising down here, this is right where that little mini golf is on both sides, the water park. But off to your left, you'll see the, uh, the Fenwick Lighthouse, which is pretty cool. Off to the right there, there's a, a new uh, luxury townhome community that they just kind of completed out, you'll see. There's one listed in there right now for $850, but they, they look really nice. It looks like most of them had garages. I think they're around 2,000, 2,300 square feet. So off to the left here, coming up, you'll see Harpoon Hannah's. And they're always packed. They got a nice little tiki bar out there. Food's pretty good too. And off to the right, man, it's one of my favorite Mexican restaurants, which is Papa Grande's. 
they have a really good soft shell crab taco which sounds a little funny but it's amazing and the margaritas are pretty good too uh, catch 54 restaurants back in there which is popular and if you're looking off to the left you see a lot of these larger homes most of those are canal front or direct bay front So coming up on the stoplight here to the left, it's one of my uh, favorite communities called Cape Windsor. I just helped a seller uh, sell their property in there uh, for $565,000. Uh, prices can range in there from like four fifty dollars on up to $2.5 million. But it's a mix between uh, mobile homes, some older mobile homes, and of course, you know, a lot of people are taking those off and building custom homes in there to take advantage of the views just like that. A lot of great restaurants off to the left here, like Crab Cake Factory, uh, Lobster Shanty. So you have Treasure Beach off to the right there. That's a popular RV park. Lots of nice amenities in there for, for people to come on vacation. You got a shopping plaza off to the left there. Um, used to be spinning boogies in there, but I think they're gone. And there is a public boat ramp that's off to the left there uh, that anybody can use. So this has flowed into Subbyville, Delaware, which, um, you know, coming in here, there's a lot of different communities. There's like Keenwick, um, and there's also like the Grove, Swan Keys that we'll see that we'll uh, end up passing here in a little bit. Um, and there's a community called The Refuge, which is a nice one. I helped a seller in there. And uh, just a lot of new construction going on in Delaware, especially the more west you head. This spot where we are right now, we're about three miles from the Fenwick Beach. And we're coming up on, you'll see off to your right, we got the like Walgreens, Food Lion, and not too far from here, off to the left, there's a Harris Teeter, a whole shopping center there with a couple different restaurants. And there is a Rural Farms on uh, that far away too. And they are building a Dunkin' Donuts right across from Harris Teeter uh, when we eventually get to the stoplight. So there's a Harris Teeter coming up on our left there. And that, that's actually the entrance into that huge community uh, Bayside, which has uh, the Freeman stage, which is uh, a, lot of, a lot of musical acts come through there. I think Cheryl Crow just actually came through this past weekend. They have a golf course and just a ton of amenities, you know, pool. Um, here's a big, you know, gym area. I believe there's some stores actually in the community too. But uh, there's a mix of condos, townhomes, and of course, single family homes back in. All right, there we have it. What'd you think? You know, uh, if you have any, um, any thoughts, if you actually lived here, vacation, uh, whatever it may be, you leave a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts of your maybe favorite spots, restaurants, uh, any feedback that you may have. And of course, make sure that you like the video and uh, subscribe if it's helped you out at all. 
and uh, you know, because I come out with content content every week, and you don't want to miss that. And uh, until next time, I'll see you soon.